people and wonderful people of the nation of Zimbabwe, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And this is Pastor Oshena Mandisha, your prophetic intercessor, your message of hope. Today I'm coming with a, a devotional word. This is a, a scripture that I want to share. For those who followed me in the past, I shared this same verse. God put in my heart to share this scripture, but because of other commitment, I could not share it. But today, that is 25 uh, May 2024, this is a time that I thought I have to share it. So I want to put it in the context of our nation as I'm going to put this scripture that is in Isaiah chapter 16. It can relate a lot, but before I get into that scripture, I want you to understand something that those who might listen to me, we have different people who are listening uh, uh, to this message. Uh, some theologians, some pastors, some, you know, we are coming from different backgrounds. You know, this scripture, this Bible, was written for us, for everybody. We may take the promises of God, we may borrow scriptures to claim the promises of God. That those, when we read scriptures such as Isaiah chapter 16, uh, in our context, putting it as a prophetic word that we are trusting God, or that is similar to what God is saying to our nation, though it was um, re, uh, written in the context of, of Israel. They are quick to say that word was not written for you, it was not written for us. But I want to point out to us that if we go by that um, notion, for that narration, it means that the whole Bible was, more, uh, was not written for anyone who is existing today because the Bible was written in the context of the, the the Jews and how God was speaking to the people of Israel. But you see, the Bible is the word of God. It's still alive. It speaks to us. That's why we believe in it. That's why we read it every day. So when we come to these prophetic messages, sometimes when God speaks similar to that which is already written in the scripture, it is wise and it is prophetic to take that word and project it to us. So today I thought I have to come with this word again, which I believe is a message to us. When God brings this word repeatedly, it means that this is something that is going to happen. I believe Zimbabwe is going to rise again. And the word is saying, arise and shine. And I'm seeing that it is coming, it's going to happen in our lifetime for those who are hearing in me. So I'm not going to speak much and I want you to listen to the scripture that we are going to read together. And this is an audible scripture that I'm going to play. You, you just listen in the context. This is a message that God was uh, speaking to us that Zimbabwe is going to, uh, to rise. You see, sometimes when you delay, God will just raise someone to speak the same word. It happened that when I was about to share this word, I saw um, the exact word or similar to the word arise and shine that we are going to share being shared with another man of God, far away are they in the West Africa there. So this is a message that I just want us to listen as we uh, look in the context of us as a nation that Zimbabwe is going to rise again. So this is a devotional word. Let us listen. Isaiah chapter 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see, and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All they from Sheba shall come, they shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. 
They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first, to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I the Lord am thy Savior and thy Redeemer. God bless you for taking your time to listen to this devotional word. For those who are praying for the nation, let us continue to pray and we will see Zimbabwe rising again.